I think it was worse. Uh, we'll probably hang in there for a while, and I think uh, they, 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 they should have been further ahead, but to get back to 20 points where it was, what stage, 10 minutes in the third quarter or 15 in the third quarter, yeah. kicked a couple. And I thought uh, then we're you know, hanging in there, um, weren't playing well, a lot of players down, but then to capitulate like that was just just unacceptable. Uh, it's not, not what we stand for, not what we're about, not what we've shown the last three or four years. And um, to be able to, or be able not to do anything about it was actually embarrassing. 186, 128 contested possession, was that? That the worst of it, you think? The oh, yeah. Well, it's, we always knew we were going to be under the pump with their two quality rucks. Um, and also their height in the forward line. We knew that. Um, but uh, I think contested possession has been one of our positives uh, the last three years, and even this year we've been reasonable at it. But uh, not to um, get anywhere near or even on that was, uh, was uh, poor. Um, yeah, we're beating the stoppages. Um, Knew our defence at, at times would be under pressure, but obviously the ball was coming in too easily and too quickly. You mentioned you got within about 20 points in the third quarter. Did you feel at any stage in the game you were on even terms? Or no, not really. No, no. You just sometimes you just hang in there and you know, it's ugly and and the, and the wheel can turn uh, just by hanging in there. And that, you know, we, we've been involved in that games like that ourselves, both for and against. Um, um, then we just uh, yeah, a couple of. Other little things went our way and we thought, yeah, we're a chance here and then didn't take advantage of it and leaked some easy goals and that was it. What do you do to turn this around now? Oh, yeah, we've just had a chat then, so we'll have another talk and obviously there's got to be some fallout as far as selection and um, obviously the way we go about training and things like that, but uh, to have an effort like that for one and a half quarters was, as I said, unacceptable. Is this group off the pace to what you thought it in terms of the top four or whatever the ambitions. Oh well, yeah. Up until up until today, we I think without playing well and obviously having quite a few key players out, I thought we've hung in there reasonably okay and gives ourselves a chance. We lost a couple of games by seven or eight points, which we probably could have, should have won. Um, but uh, whether that was a precursor of you know, there's some blokes who maybe not there anymore and some not quite up to it, that. Uh, um, whether that sort of had the crescendo today, so I won't have to have to work that through. I lost like this one. I doubt started a debate on whether you come to the end of your own and your runs over as premiership contenders. What got you say on that issue? Oh, I have to think about. It. Yeah, well, we're not even thinking about that. We're just thinking about how we're going to react from this game. And I think uh, teams are going to building. You now it's about how they respond the next week. So no, we're just going to back on the horse and. We'll work through that. Uh, yeah, we're not even, even thinking about that. Can you afford to think of final still? Sorry? Can you afford to think of final still? Or do you just have to think week by week? Oh, we've been thinking week by week for a while, and that's what we'll continue to do. Last time, uh, I remember after the Essendon result, you guys had a, a big sort of clear the air sort of meeting. Which we do every week, so that was, no, that was nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, so it wouldn't be any different this week, right? No. You said there's some players that might not quite be up to it. Is this careers on the line stuff? Right about now. Oh, no, no. Well, I think it's too raw at the moment. We'll have a, have a talk during the week, but uh, that's the question I'm posing, I suppose. Do they now have the best press in the league, the best one you come across this year? Um, yeah, I, think, I think the press as such is... It's there. It's more about the intent of the individual, how they put pressure on. And, and I think it's their pressure is very good because they, cause they close space quicker than any other team. So... In your question, yes, um, but I think at times we handballed too much. We spoke about that at half time, and, and that's another interesting thing that you, know, you come out of. We wanted to kick more. Once we kicked, we, we looked a bit dangerous. When we handballed, we turned it over, and at, ha at half time we spoke about kick the ball more, but we still continued to handball. So. Have you experienced a more disappointing loss as coach? As coach? Uh, had a few. Um, no, no, probably not. Probably this is probably up there. You speak about the, the overuse of handball. Was that particularly prevalent in terms of getting the ball out of defence? A lot of people just look to be going for those sideways hand passes and getting chopped off right and looking further. Yeah, so we should have been kicking when we're instructed to kick. In terms of the reinforcements, who, who's looking good for next week? Uh, Barry should be right. Um, hopefully Cooney's right. Um, we'll check on Lake, so I suppose they're three of our 
first five, and hopefully they can all come in. Um, there's a few young lads in the, in the seconds are playing well, so they'll yeah, certainly come into consideration. A lot of Bulldog supporters will probably be asking, can a side turn it around after such a poor result, looking towards finals? Oh, I've been involved in sides that have done that. So the answer's yes. So you're confident? Yeah, we can, it's been done. Well, Melbourne lost by 90 odd points and won the next week. In terms of the grander picture, though. What's the grander picture? Grand final appearances. If I answered that question already, champ, I said I'm worried about next week. If you want to worry about grand finals, you worry about grand finals. Mm -hmm. How close were Cooney and Wolf today? Uh, Barry played for Williamstown yesterday, so he was his ankle was okay, but he um, he just felt and we felt too that with his training he was just a week away match fitness. So we you know we thought it was best to give him a run in the in the VFL, which he did. So so I think it was the right decision. So um, he, he'll be right next week. And Cooney, like uh, you said, he should be back by next week. Well, hopefully, well, hopefully. Addison yes. too. Uh, yeah, should be. Where do they sit compared to others you played this year? Oh yeah, obviously the magnitude of the loss says they're right up there, but um, yeah, that's, uh, I'm not worried about other teams, just worry about mine. Okay. Thanks. 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 Thanks.